dear viewers of the Car and Train channel, I want to introduce Paul, who is the proud owner of this caboose. And you know, everybody's dream when you are in the train uh, business is to own your own rail car. So this is his own rail car. Can you say anything about this rail car, Paul? Well, this caboose was uh, built in 1975, so it's one of the newer ones. It was built by the car shop employees in Hamlet, North Carolina for community use. So it's been restored one time already. It's got a special paint job for the Hamlet uh, yard crew. Uh, CSX has been divesting a lot of stuff, so I ended up locating it and moving it to Connersville about a year and a half ago. Well, uh, thank you very much for uh, inviting us to this uh, journey, to this uh, day trip. Thank you, Paul. My pleasure. Great to have you. So, as explained, we are going to spend the day in this caboose, which is the last car of the train. An hour and a half going south, two hours uh, at Matamora, and then an hour and a half going back to Connersville, Indiana. Lunch provided on board. Looks yummy. And there's a 
portion of it between here and Matamora that's been restored and it still has water in it. It's a nice view from here. Absolutely.
Here is the inside of one of the three passenger cars that are part of the fleet. And another caboose. This is the emergency brake, so if the brakeman sees something, for example a smoking bearing that may cut on fire, he can stop the entire consist through that handle, and that's a whistle. Here is another caboose which is part of our train. By the way, if you are interested by books on train, there is a link below the video uh, where you can order on an affiliate website uh, train books. Part of the brake system, the brake cylinder.
thanks for watching this video. I have many more train videos on my car and train channel. If you have any questions, please ask them through the comment section below the video.